Ist also nochmal die Frage. Wie Now let me once again explain why the Autobahn company uses the MaxFlow system, which we already installed four times in our plant. Let's have a look back to the year 2010 when we built a new cement mill. The challenge at that time was to use the infrastructure of the existing cement mill. That meant the feeding, removal and sifting of the material had to be integrated, which was very difficult due to existing structures. First we wanted to install a buffer plate to measure the return flow of the cement mill. For the air slide we needed an inclination of 6.5 degrees, which was technically impossible because of the height of 1 meter 30 of the buffer plate. Fortunately a max flow was already installed in a salt plant in our neighborhood. This max flow was installed in parallel with a buffer blade and we were allowed to have a look at it when measurement was made. We saw that there were only marginal deviations between the two measuring systems. Based on this observation we decided to do the blend modification. During this time we kept on talking to SWR because we were dismantling the old system and building the new system at the same time. If this hadn't worked, we would not have been ready to deliver cement. So it was very important to have the support from SWR. In addition to the cement mill, where else you have installed a MaxFlow? At this point we have installed the MaxFlow in three more areas. In 2016, a fourth one, our lime area, will follow. The first experience in the cement mill was really positive. The lime area consists of small mills with small throughputs which are not measured yet. In 2016, our plan is to equip our hydrator unit with a max flow. Frage werden wir im 2016 ebenfalls mit dem max flow ausrüsten.